kept a piece of wood in your shop because you just didn't know what to do with it, but it was too beautiful to throw away, I do that all the time. And this is one example. This is a maple burl. And I cut this off years ago and used the other part of it for something else, I don't recall what. But I've always wanted to figure out something I can do with this. And now I'm gonna give it a try. I've never tried this before, but I believe it's flat enough on this side that I can put it through my drum sander. I don't wanna use a planer because I think it would just knock this all to hell. But I'm gonna put it through my drum sander, get it down to where I've got enough flat spots for my larger chuck to fit on it. Then I'm gonna use this to draw a circle, cut it on the bandsaw, then drill a hole for the woodworm screw, mount it on the lathe, start to shape from this side will be the bottom of whatever I'm going to turn. It's to be determined. I don't know if I can get a, a nice little platter out of this or a real shallow bowl, but I'm going to see what I can do. So let's go do some work with this. These two flat spots will be enough for my jaws on my chuck to sit firmly and safely against. Alright, that seems to be running fairly true. Time to straighten out the bottom here, give a little bit of a profile. Okay, tail stock up here for a little support in case this decides it wants to leave the woodworm screw in a hurry. I just want to clean this up a little bit. Now I don't know if it's just this piece of wood or not, but this area I'm having a problem, just getting a lot of chipping. So I've just freshly honed the edge of the gouge, and let's see if that'll improve this at all. Well, it was cutting better, but there's still going to be some sanding done here. All right, just want to make a little bit of a concavity on the bottom here. And that cut fairly well. All right, I'm going to pull back the tail stock so I have access here. I want a recess two inches in diameter, so I've set my dividers to one inch. I will mark that, then use a parting tool and a square recess tool to take that out. The chuck that I'm using is a one-way talon and it's got a little bit of a ring right around here and as long as it's deep enough for that to go in there, it should be just fine. Just need to make that just a little bit larger. All 
All right, that should be just fine where it is. I only need about an eighth of an inch deep. I'm going to drill a recess for my logo coin now. And I see people drilling all the time at a thousand RPM or more. That's not good for the bits. It's going to heat them up, dull them, and it's not particularly good for the wood either. I turned mine down to 250 RPM. I just want to put a couple of rings in here for decoration and then I'm going to sand this and I'll be back after the sanding is finished. I have it sanded to 400 now. I sanded these parts out here just using sanding blocks. Started at 100 grit, worked my way up to 400, and I'm very pleased with this. I think with a little oil or finish on this, this is going to look spectacular. So now I'm going to do my pyrography on here, put in my logo coin, reverse it into the chuck, and start turning the inside. I would like to preserve as much of this as I can and just turn a small bowl in the middle here, maybe out this far. And I need to take a little bit down on here. There's some chipping, so I'll have to face this off a little bit as well. I'm going to turn this at 1000 RPM. And I sure hope I did a better job of tightening the chuck in that recess than I did last time. Don't need another fail right away. In order to try to get less vibration when I hit these open areas where I'm cutting air, I've increased the speed to 2000 RPM. And I'm also hoping that'll let me clean this up. This is very, very chipped. Well, it's better, but still lots of sanding going to go on in this area. Well, that's not too bad. It certainly does turn easier at 2000 RPM. I'm not going to get it any better in there. Got rid of the chipping along here for the most part. I think I'm going to just change this. It's not quite flat. So I'm going to take just a hair off of here. Try to flatten it out better. Oh, that's quite a bit better. I like that. 
All right, I'm just gonna sand this. To sand the bowl, I like to sand it with the lathe running with a small piece of sandpaper and just sand it gently. When I get to the point where the bowl is no longer continuous, I have to stop the lathe, lock the spindle, and then sand gently through the grits. When I get to doing the flat spots, I like to use a sanding block. This all takes a little while, but it's worth the effort. Well, there's the finished piece. I love the grain in it. It's got some bird's eye and a lot of other artifacts going on. I think it's just gorgeous. I just gave it a bath in mineral oil, trying to have it spinning on the lathe and putting on any wipe on poly or anything else like that. It's going to be a little tricky to say the least. Now, I'm not quite sure if I like this or not. And I must admit, she who must be obeyed doesn't like it. So anyway, I like the wood. I'm not sure about the turning job, but it is what it is. So I want to thank you for joining me today, for sticking around to watch this. I hope you enjoyed something out of it. Now I hope you'll have a good day in your shop and be safe. Don't forget to subscribe. Hope you come back next time. Take care now.